Um, I can relate to Mariah in in a little way. You might think, mm. what? Because mm. I'm pretty confident. But you wear similar outfits? Or no. No. <laughs> no. no. It was that Misread moment it. this morning. You were strutting down the corridor. Yeah, but that's I'm a bit more mature now. But mm. I was a very mature back when I was playing footy and... I did have low self-esteem. Um, I, I used to front up, like I put, put a big brick wall mm. and I'd act not me and I'd try to be funny, be the class clown, loud. be loud to, to try to get into the conversation with the boys and try to be sort of wanted yeah, in yeah, a way because yeah. I, had, I had really set low self-esteem but everyone thought, oh, I'm this confident guy and great money, had a great job. Hence why I ended up in rehab because like, I was not confident at all and when I played footy I I played with that I'd go across the the line and I'd play with confidence and like if I had a bad day it's because I just wasn't feeling the confidence at all I I was shot wow like mentally during the week something might have happened and I just had no confidence at all but I needed to be around the boys to try that for them to get me up but I don't think they ever realized it because when they realized I went in rehab they're like what Fev's got like depression. How does how the bloody hell does that happen? It's because Cause he's so up yeah. and about. But I, inside, I wasn't, and I ne- I don't know. It was really weird. It's a weird thing to try to explain. But you're right. You put a people would yeah. never think Brendan Favola. And had I felt low vulnerable, and you just wanted to be part of conversations and try get in, and then ha ha, and then you chuck a gag out there, and everyone would laugh, and you go, yeah, I'm up and about, but. Deep down, I wasn't. It was just a big, it was sort of fakeish. Yeah, yeah. In a way. I mean, I don't want to be an armchair psychologist, but you look at Mariah and even your story. I think when you're in the public eye, you're beholden to people's or what you perceive as their view of you, 100%. which means it's a losing game. Yeah. Because you're constantly, it's like, you know, especially say with social media, you see people, you put something out and you go, that didn't get as many likes as I thought. I'm a loser. What's going on? And you're like, see, when you put your self esteem into the interests of others, Mm, and I think good. I worried about a lot what people thought and it shut me down. I used to read all the websites and people would be bagging me and then you get shut down. And I think it was a real sign of immaturity. Now that I'm, it took me 36 years to get more mature. <laughs> um, now that I'm more mature, I'm comfortable in myself. I don't care what people think. I've, I'm happy. I've got my family, my kids, got a great job. So I'm confident. I'm like, I'm, I'm happy. Like think, I'm set. Yeah, it's when you put yourself out there. And like you, you said, if you you seem to be the boy about town. I remember before I knew you, you know, in social pages and here and there. You look at Mariah. She puts herself out there and she's all, you know, all boobs and all, um, you know, gold bling. A lot of boobs. And yet you go, oh, you've got low self-esteem. I'm, 